Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma. In this video, we will discuss what is page object model. How do you create page object model? This is this will be a quick video. Page object model or POM is a design pattern that we use in test automation frameworks to represent the UI pages in a web application as separate Java classes. Each class holds a locator and the method that we perform on that page. The page object model is a design pattern that creates an object repository for storing web elements. What do I mean by object repository? A repository where we deposit all the objects, right? Or all the web UI elements which you see on a web page. In your application, when you're testing any web application, let's say you're testing the login feature, right? So whatever you have on the page, username, password, login button these all are ui elements these all are web elements when you store this at one place this will become your repository object repository so what are the benefits of using pom pom it reduces code duplication second it improves test maintenance by separating page specific code from test scripts what does a page web page represent in pom uh, in pom each web page is represented as a class file containing web elements and methods to interact with those elements. Your test scripts then uses those methods, right, rather than directly accessing them. How will you create your page object model? You have web elements, web elements like buttons, fields, links on the page. Then you have page objects. You will create page object classes that will represent those web pages. Like if you have login page, product page, add to cart page, um, you know, and whatsoever. And then you will uh, write a test case corresponding to each web page. Test case where you will add all the assertions, validations, and you will use your um, test ng annotations, right? Let me give you an example to understand this. Let's take the example of login page. Uh, login page, how will you implement POM? So first you will have to identify the element locators. What are the elements on that page? In this case, we have username, password and login button and the elements which we are identifying it with, like we have used ID locator to identify the username, then password to identify the password field. Uh, login button is the ID. You can use any locator, whichever is convenient. ID mostly is unique, so it's preferred then CSS by error also you can take it then interaction methods whatever fields you have you will have to create one corresponding method with that in this case for entering username we have created a method called enter username for uh, entering password we have created another method called enter password and then another method for login um, click login button and that login uh, function will take two parameters username and password both of can both of these can be of string data type then validation method what all validations you can perform on that page you can say is error message displayed whether the error message is displayed when you provide wrong username or wrong email id get error message text to catch the uh, to um, get the error message what is the error message displayed on the screen and is login button enabled this type of you know some type of uh, error validation methods you can use in your test case so this is how you will create your page object model this is a quick video detailed video on the uh, topic is coming very soon keep watching and let me know if you find this video useful all right guys bye